<laughs> Welcome to Great Gadgets and Gear. This is my 100th time filming this video. <laughs> I'm sorry. I have tried six times to shoot this video from opening the package as I just got it. Um, and everything keeps happening. My battery dies. The phone keeps ringing. The doorbell rings. I have just, I am at my wits end with this. So I have to apologize up front. Um, so obviously I've already opened this thing. I've already been through it a dozen times, so I'll try to do my best here for you. Um, okay. This is obviously a medical kit from Recon Medical. I don't know a lot about this company. Um, I, it's supposedly, I think they're an American company from Las Vegas. Their founder, uh, is a guy named Ryan and he wanted to, his quote was to bring high quality medical equipment to people at a decent value with good customer service. Okay, so here it is. Here's the Recon Medical Kit. Uh, so it comes in this nice little bag. I think they say it is 12.8 ounces and it is, um, I think it's like 7.5 by 6 by 2.6 inches thick. So it's a nice little canvas bag. Just your standard little bag. It's got a little belt thing here. Uh, a snap would have been cool so you didn't have to take your belt off but at this price point this thing is um, $26 for this bleed kit all right let's open it up take a peek all right so inside you get your um, wow I can't believe I'm so tongue-tied after shooting this so many times you get everything that's included in it and you get a little thank you card from the company. I'll put a bunch of stuff down in the description for you, links and everything. So there's an emergency rescue blanket. Um, it's a cheap and expensive one. It's compact. It works great for this kit though. It's nice they included it. Um, if you insulate your patient, um, it'll work even better, but they do work really good in the pinch to keep your body weight, body heat in. Uh, this is their compact gauze. You guys got to let me know what you think about this. Um, it's a very, if you can see there, really fibrous, really stringy stuff. And I'm sure in a life or death situation, it ain't going to matter. You can pick the stuff out later if you live. <laughs> but I don't know. That kind of gives me pause. It's just so highly stringy and fibrous. But I would probably myself um, replace that with some combat gauze. Okay. So here is... Uh, this here's the tourniquet and it all comes packaged together real nice and plastic um, that I tore open You get a carbon pen to be able to write on here the time and stuff You get a UV long-term storage bag Which I'm gonna need now that I tore it all open So that was nice they included that and then the tourniquet itself Now this is not an approved tourniquet um, For whatever reason I don't know I was still trying to look into it what they did, whatever they did that didn't qualify them. Um, it does have a, a lot of good features on it though that a lot of fake ones don't. It does have the the lot number stamped on there, January 2020, so that's a good date. And the recommended five year lifespan, probably due to the materials used. Now it states that it's a Kevlar thread. Um, this looks a little kind of frayed already, but anyways. Uh, not sure if this is heat shrinked or how this is assembled. They don't really give you that information. You do have a nice finger pull though to get some leverage on this thing, especially if you're using it on yourself. So I thought that was nice. And it's just, it's a nylon material. Now I did, this comes with your time stamp across the windlass like this. I would definitely take that out, get it out of the way so you're not messing with that in an emergency. And this has an aluminum hollow windlass. Let's see if I can get it on camera. There you go. You can see right through there. So it's not a solid aluminum, but at least it is metal. It is aluminum. The buckles are plastic. Um, so how they're going to hold up as far as durability, I'm not real sure. And it is stamped with the company information on it. And it does say it's out of Las Vegas. Alright, so anybody who has any information on this, it'd be greatly appreciated if you could drop it down in there. Um, you you got to be careful when you're buying medical supplies on Amazon. You want to try to get the best supplies you can afford to get. Because you're talking about your life, or the life of somebody that you're with or that you come across. Um, so you really don't want to cheap out on this stuff. But I understand, you know, it's, you know, hopefully you'll never have to use this in your whole life, but... If you do, you want it to work. 
you know if you don't you don't want to have two hundred dollars worth of gear that just went to waste but so I understand the, the need and the necessity for this stuff and then it comes with a four inch emergency bandage it's not branded Israeli but it's an Israeli style and then recon just slaps their sticker on it um, none of this stuff has country of origin so I guess you're supposed to assume that it's all made in the United States and then you have a seven and a half inch pair of stainless steel titanium bonded scissors. What does all that mean? <laughs> um, they're just, they're stainless steel. They're a really, they're not quite as high quality as the company makes them out to be. They're not cheapy crap either. Um, they do work. They're lightweight. Um, the handles kind of feel cheapy plasticky, but they do move pretty well. Um, as far as I have others that you, you know decent ones start out like 15 bucks um, And you can tell the difference But for again at this price point what you're getting with this kit. It's a really good deal. I mean oh, Sorry, my legs cramping up. <laughs> it, it's a really good deal at this price point and It comes in the neat little bag. So Okay, so now I also did purchase they offer that bag, like I said, the red one for 26 a green one on their site for, I think, 27 or 28 On Amazon, you can also get where it comes in a shrink rack bag, and this is a the orange tourniquet, which actually has an earlier date, so there's a lot of time expired already. This is August 20th, 2019. Um, but still, it's nice, it's compact, it's all together, it's a grab-and-go type thing. Boo-boos, you can improvise for boo-boo care. Um, it's the really emergency type stuff that it can kill you. That it's nice to have these kits all together, whether it's in a range bag, hiking bag, kayak, wherever you need this stuff to be. It is nice that it is all together. Um, and at this price point, it is does seem to be decent quality. Um, so, with that being said, <laughs> I'll include the, the links down in the description. Uh, to Amazon if you want to purchase it from Amazon or if you want to go to Recon Medical site and check that out. I did try to contact the company. I had no luck to find out some further information and also inquire. This would be a really great modular uh, type system to sell to people. Um, they only have the, the red and the green and it's only for bleed kits. It would be nice if these, because these bags are like the perfect size. They're not too big, they're not too small. Um, if they came in different colors for different things, like an airway kit or a sprain fracture kit or you know all these different little sub kits that are all complete together, grab and go ready. Um, I myself have been trying for the last two weeks to try and spot where they got these bags from so I could just buy the bags and make my own kits. I've had no luck. <laughs> I found stuff that was close, but not this size seems to be just perfect not too big not too small um and it's a canvasy bag which was kind of neat okay so if you have any questions or comments put them down in the uh comment section i'll try to answer what i can there are a ton of videos on these things you should know you should know how to put these on and how to use them i would tell you this um especially if you're putting it on yourself the the greater, the tighter you can get this thing on initially, the less you have to turn the windlass to cut off the blood supply, which could be really, really important. And these are hard to put on yourself, um, especially if it's an arm, not so much a leg, but an arm. Uh, so the finger hole here to get some grip, some leverage on it does come in really handy. And I've seen some videos on these. These do seem to hold up rather well to that. Um, they are a large tourniquet there's a lot of material on them so you shouldn't have an issue unless you're morbidly obese um with as far as getting them over your leg your thigh your arm okay um i've shot this video so many times i don't want to keep repeating myself and i hope i'm not leaving anything out i hope everybody's doing well being safe uh through this covid period and uh until the next video Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it.